Okay, we will see another way for dealing with 3D geometry. And this is the example. This is the idea of working with solid entities, so not just a collection of vertex and edges. And these are um, each solid has its own parameter that we can set and then we can change and everything is uh, updated on the fly. So this is a good way for dealing with mechanical parts where we need to really be precise about the engineering of the parts. So it's usually a kind of software that you will use for engineering. Um, each fabler should have a solid work license. In any case, I will show you FreeCAD, which is open source. And it's multi-platform. It's quite a new program, so it's not really well developed. And as you will see, sometimes it will crash. But except a few bugs, uh, it works quite well in what you need to do. So now started with already a new file. Uh, here you see the model, the list of the model. Now there is nothing, but you will see the list of the model, the tasks that you can do. And here you see on view the settings about the visualization of the object and data. You can edit the data of the object. You see basic um, commands for the software. You can also record and play macro, so you can record se sequences of actions and replay them. You can also script it in Python, as in Blender, Inkscape, GIMP, and Rhino. And these are the commands that are specific for visualizing the view. The important thing about FreeCAD is this part. You have different view, and each view can do something different. So for example, one of the first that you would like to start is draft. In draft, you basically design in 2D. Okay. So for example, you can select something like this. You do rectangle. Here you see, for example, the settings of the visualization. Here is the data. So you can change the data. So for example, uh, we can say it's five, and here that is three. And then you change the parameters. Now the important thing about this, you select it here. You see it when it's green selected. Uh, the most important part of this section that you want to change this to something that you can transform in a solid. And you will do this with upgrade. So if everything is OK, we'll transform this in a phase, otherwise in a selection of path. So upgrade will just improve and build something on top of that. So in this case, OK, this is a shape. Okay. One nice thing, if you do right click and you do navigation style, you can check the basically the, the command for having the, the 3D navigation. Even if you put Blender, you will have the same Blender, so you don't have to remember how to do it. So. Now, for example, uh, another thing for working with 2D will be the sketcher. This is something that you can also import in image with uh, text and sorry, in, uh, technical drawings from CAD. Um, what we do, we'll try to work directly with parameters. So in this case, we delete this. And from the draft, we go to another part which is called sketcher. We will see from the top. So. First thing, you need to create a sketch, which is basically uh, a technical drawing, but something that you set up not by the position, but by the parameters and the constraint between all the elements. So first thing you want to do is set up the plane where you want to build the sketch. So for example, in XY plane, in this case. And now you can design it any way you want. Okay, I will just do something as an example. I'm doing a polyline. I'm just doing it quite randomly because you don't really need to do um, anything precise so I can do something like this when you over it and all then it's wide then it will close it okay. the important thing that when you do this this will basically have some constraints which are this red one the are the constraint are the position so for example uh, we can set this by selecting the, the different elements are setting the constraint, and then everything is updated automatically. The important thing is to check this solver message, because this will uh, tell you that everything is okay in the geometry. So in this case, it tells us that there is one redundant and it's the seven, so we can delete the seven. 
okay, now it's okay. Uh, I will delete all of these just to start from scratch. Okay. So for example, I want these and these to be perpendicular. So I check on this and they're perpendicular. I want this and these to be perpendicular. Okay. This and this to be perpendicular. I want also this and this. So you do something like this. And just to be sure even this. Now everything should be okay. So now we are, sure, we are sure about the angle. So you don't really need to design it carefully at the beginning because you just fix it with the constraint. Something else you want to do is the size. So you select this, and for example, we want it to be 30 millimeters. Okay. Okay. It's being rotated maybe for um, checking something else in the constraint so we will try to, to fix this uh, let's try to do something like this okay, no. let's try to delete this and for example let's put this and now this is vertical so it's 60 let's say 65 okay so you see you can modify it now, for example, when you want to finish editing, you click on close, and now you have the entity that you can also rename. Rename. Okay. Here in view, you change the settings for view, but on data, you can edit it as well. If you right click on this, you can edit the sketch again. Now, if you want to transform this into 3D, we go to part design. Let me save this just for. Because safety. Now, for example, we go model. I select this, and in test I can do a revolution, so I can rotate this around this axis, so I can create something in 3D, like extrude it. So you can do like pad. And we want to extrude it like 10 millimeters. Okay. okay save it. Okay. Now there is a big uh, bug here on Mac that. The, the refresh of the window doesn't work, so we'll close it. Open it again. And we open this save file. And here you see it is already in 3D. Okay. It took click of select it. In part, you can do something more. So, for example, we can do a fillet. We can select all edges, for example, and put two millimeters. And this is already like this. If I go here and select fillet, and I do edit fillet edges, and I put, for example, four, I can change it, and it's not a big deal. Okay. Now, for example, if I go in entity and do edit sketch, and I go in sketcher, for example, I check this. Value and I want to be 55, it automatically updates the object. Okay? Because you change the parameter and everything else is constructed from, from this. Then something else that you want to do for building complicated structure, for example, we close this. Uh, we add a cylinder. Okay, I need to relaunch it again. So the version is 0 0.14, so it's really one of the early versions, so it's okay that it does some specs. Okay, here's the cylinder. If I go on draft, I can move it with this. So let's for watch it here. So for example, move this here and now for example we select this the cylinder I change the data height I will put it very high like 40 so I'm sure that it passes through if you go back on part then you can do a boolean so for example if you select this the first is I want is pad or even compound
pounds. Well, let's try that. And I want to have the difference on the cylinder. Okay. And then it creates this. Then of course I use the pad, so that's why I break this. So let's try to do the fillet. Okay. That's right. And now what I do if I close this and I have the cut here in the cylinder, if I change this, if for example I change the radius to 10, everything is updated automatically. And this way you are really precise about what you're doing. You can do much more things, you can do the loft between curves, so it's not just about extrusion, but just this is something simple. One thing that you can do, uh, yes, tell me. Yes. Is there a way to, uh, for example, create a parameter of the center of, a, of this cylinder connected with the sketch? With the other? Yes. Yes. Um, I've never done, but you can do it. It's, I think it's called like external reference. So you should do for and edit this. Uh, or, for example, well, I don't know, let's take this. Okay, create an, uh, an edge link to an external geometry. So in this way, for example, you can link to it. I've never done, but there should be a way for doing this. Okay. Otherwise, you do manually the position of the cylinder. Yes, but the thing is that you can also parameterize, uh, yeah. as well as the radius of the cylinder, also the placement uh, uh, with reference with other part of the component. Yeah, for example, I guess that if we delay this, we delay the cylinder, we delay the fillet, and even we delay the pad, so we just get this. You can also do architectural things, but not what we needed, so you go to sketches. Okay, it's not updated, so I need to save and relaunch it. I guess the best thing would be just to put the cylinder inside the sketch so you can do it much better. Yes, the thing is that because of the sketcher is, is in 2D, something uh, is not easy to put in that kind of sketch. Yeah. In this situation is uh, for sure the best way, but for example, if you have a 90 degrees uh, hole in that kind of form, you have the sketch that is not in the same plane of the of the circle that creates the So for cylinder. example, I guess that you select these and these, for example. Uh, it should be these or parallel, let's try. I want these to be like 10 millimeters. Yes. Okay. So we close it. We go to our design. I Pad like this. Okay. Uh, let's save it. Let's see if it works. Okay, I need to relaunch it. There's a bug in the visualization with the graphic card, so ah, okay. just save and relaunch it if it doesn't work with that. So, prison files. Okay. Okay, now, of course, if you do something like this, it's already through. Yes. Sure. The problem is it, it's something else, but you can set up, I guess you can set up the external references uh, easily. Or, um, one thing that you can do for this, for example, let me show you, if you do part, and then we add the fillet, all the two. Okay, now we can go to uh, drawing, you select for example A3. You select these and you say, I want these views, you get the views of this. Okay, this is just a small problem, but it's okay. You can show hidden. Okay, it shows me if you want, otherwise, you just leave it like this. Okay, and now you can export this. Select here. You can export it as VG, 
and then you can edit it in Inkscape or somewhere else. Okay. So you already have cities, and then for example, if you go on page and in data, you change this, you change the data that's here. So for example, like instead of order name, I sell so. Okay, now it's not completely updated for the graphic bug. Yeah. But if I This G this. save it. Now, one thing that I can do since it's SVG, I can directly drop there. So G. That's the SVG. Okay, so then you can edit this later. If you want to have things. So that's a good way you don't need to redesign everything from scratch. 